Sorry, I just split this into two, but uh, here we go. We back. All right. Let's see. Find the package. Did that. Uh, find the tombstones. I found those. Check. Let's see. Oh, I should. Did that. Oh yay! Oh, it must be charged then. All right. Well, I'll go check our phone first. Do 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 do. Hmm, looks like I need to figure out the password. No. Okay, let's just call Addison then. I don't want to figure out any freaking passwords. It's a cute cat. Not as cute as mine. I'll put a picture of her right here. Look at her. She's adorable. Alright, let's go. That <laughs> may be chopped. Hello? Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't. I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. Wait. Everyone in this area seems to have, like, a southern accent. But Addison doesn't. I don't know, maybe she's not from the south and she, like, moved? I don't know. Maybe they're not even in the south. Well, no, because the Thornton family stays in the same area, so if they all have that accent, they're probably from the south. Okay. How's Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay, maybe a little strained. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. Alrighty, then. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. Still, I can't say for sure. What do you think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. The bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. Do you know where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it. But I couldn't tell you where it is. Great. That's helpful. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then, things got strange. Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, uh, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. Okay. I want to ask about the password, but I know I should ask about more, so I have to do it later, so let's do it. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah, we were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs and that was that. You said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. But then I started to feel fuzzy. Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I 
I was alone and Jess was gone. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Now she's starting to sound like Savannah. Kind of neurotic and Can scary. you help me figure out Jessalyn's password? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. The tombstone portion of our scavenger hunt? There was something strange about it. Can you think of a reason she would hide her password there? Just in case something happened to her. I thought she said that to scare me, but maybe not. Okay, so I have to take a look at this. Oh, I can't open it. Did you notice <laughs> any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there. It would surprise me if there weren't. It surprised me if there weren't two because, you know, there are always secret passageways in Nancy Drew games. I'd better get going. I can't think Fine of chess. one that didn't. Alright, so... So, epitaph hunt, I'm assuming? W... L... J word? Maybe? Um, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Nana. Who's Nana? I'm gonna do this later. This this looks. I'm trying not to use the hints. I feel like I might have to. No, let's... Uh... Clara? Nancy. Clara. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact, Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse. But I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, apparently you don't. What's the story with the locked room upstairs? It's Charlotte's. We don't go in there. It might help me figure out what's going on, if I could take a look around. Best of luck. That door locked itself up tight the day of her funeral. There's not a key in this world that'll open it. I've tried. I'm sure there's some kind of key. She probably just, like, I don't know, hit it really well. Everyone else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. Not after the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. But how do you know she's in the house? Maybe she's in the Who forest. else was in that old portrait with you? You know, hon, we had that covered up for a reason. I can't talk about it. Not right now. Please, just leave me be. Alrighty. Well, I mean, I didn't really have anything else to talk to you about anyway. Um... <laughs> Oh, hey, Nana. I missed that earlier. Okay, so Nana is... I nickname for Sarah, so let's see. So Nana is Sarah. I don't know who Grandma is. Ghost, I'm assuming it's Charlotte, because... It's Charlotte. Um, Dodge was Roger. I don't know who HT is. Probably not Harriet Tubman. I don't know who BT is. Karen Nina is Mariana. Factory accident victims were over there. And then, I don't know who LA is. But. Um. Okay. I don't know. I. 
What else do we have to do? All right, Chief Edison. Check. So I, I have to do the epitaph hunt right now. Is there? Ah! Oh, I just hit myself in the teeth. <laughs> See, Charlotte didn't even. Well, I'm assuming that's Charlotte because the ghost. But like, Charlotte didn't even scare me that much. It was Nancy's. <gasps> It was like, Jesus Lord. What was that? That was, that was a Charlotte. Oh, I stabbed myself in the gums. Mmm. That hurt. Alright. I'm assuming I have to go talk about this with people. Let's go talk to Clara again. Nancy. I saw something really strange. I did too. What do you think that was? Excuse me, I need to be alone. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Okay. Oh, go talk to Colton about the ghosty. Huh. Oh, I can't. I'll just talk How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day and thought, this is the girl I'm going to marry. And then I threw a rock at her face. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. Ah, I'll never live that down. I imagine things improved from there. We became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... Now I know it's said that like when boys like you, they tease you and like... play around and whatever, but... I think... Throwing a rock at someone's face is a little bit extreme. I mean, you don't want to, like, murder your quote unquote future fiance. I don't know. Well, what do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a. My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. So, you and Jessalyn must have dated for quite some time. Actually, didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day, Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're going to get married. Go to it already. Jess was mortified. I took her out to the coast since that always cheered her up. We talked through the night and... By the time the sun came up, it just stopped sounding so silly. All right. You get really into your body when you talk. Are you Italian? Italians like to use their hands a lot. So I've been told. Do you know anything about Clara's past? I'm not Italian. No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young. And she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. That's sad. I'd better get going. Bye. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess I have to do the epitaph thing. I don't want to. I don't even know what it means. What does WL mean? Eight one. It's like I was gonna say steps, but like less and left are the same thing for the most part. I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know what? Let's talk to Wade. Wanna hear a ghost? Check it out. I tell you about the ghost? There we go. I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. Do people sure. really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away. The stories started to spread. 
Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. Over and over again until they'd just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. Okay. Oh yeah, I want to get in the crypt. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. I won't we'll take that as a no. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes. I advise against it. Well, why? It's not a fun place, and they don't let you leave. <laughs> no, I mean, why did you go to jail? I know what you meant. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid, that's all. Um... Oh, yeah. It... Was it anything... something that would make you a danger to someone like Jesselyn? Get this straight, girl. I never hurt no one in my life. Now go. Go on, get! Uh, you want to tell me about I that? found a set of graves yeah. without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family had rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. Alrighty. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. Oh, most are kinda pretty. That tree is like creepy. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked. Right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. Okay. Well, I mean, Wade seems okay, and I thought Clara seemed okay, but I don't, I don't know who's the the real bad guy here. I feel like it might be one of the two of them, but that could be a lie. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. 
You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. They are from like the south. Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart if it's muddy. Or snowy, but I mean, you probably don't have that problem here because it doesn't really snow much. I'd better get going. Get on out of here now. But I mean, it snows a lot in Canada. So I'm really... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go talk to Clara about this whole jail thing before I get into you. I'd better check out what's going on upstairs. Okay. Um. Nancy. Oh no, is it Charlotte trying to eat my face? Make yourself blind. Call Charlotte home. I need to figure out what this means. Okay, even ghosts have their favorite haunts. Charlotte requests a meeting with you. Recite a rhyme with dreadful meter. Your dreadful meter is at its peak. Make yourself blind. Don't dare peek. Call Charlotte home and hear her speak. She may just let you live. Okay. So, I'm assuming make yourself blind is like... Get a blindfold. Can I use one of the napkins? Because I know I can take them. That's probably my easiest option. I can! Okay. It's one that's not covered in turpentine. Um... Okay, what else did I say? Sight a rhyme. This dreadful meter. Is that like the one that Wade was talking about? Where it was like fire, night, Charlotte come back, something like that? Probably. And then dreadful meter is at its peak. I'm assuming use the EMF? Well, it's not here. So I guess I'm just gonna have to walk around this entire house until we find where it's all the way in the red. This place is kind of boring. Maybe it's outside. Oh! Oh, it might be Charlotte's room. That would that'd be uh, easy. Oh, is it in Charlotte's room? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look around a little more. I'll check downstairs first. Uh, but I really hope it's not in Charlotte's room, cause that would be annoying. Cause then I'd have to get in there first. Oh. Oh, maybe it's not in Charlotte's room. Maybe it's... That's almost off the charts. Woo! This must be the place. Oh, good. I don't have to go in Charlotte's room. Okay, put on your napkin. Uh, this... I know this is the right one, but what happens if I choose... this one? <laughs> the fire is warm. The night is cold. I can't see through this blindfold. What? What? <laughs> I get the same death as when I try to open the door? Okay. C come on here, ghosty, ghosty. Okay, well, she's right. Fire now. so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. What's going on? Where are you taking me? Charlotte? Tell me. Who are you? Nancy, I am here to help Jesslyn. Give me a reason to let you live. Mind you, a good one. What? One reason to spare you. Give it to me now. The spirits are growing impatient with my mercy. Um, 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 shut up. You can't scare me. Help me find Jesslyn or get out of the way. Very good. What? Remove the blindfold. Just who are you? Harper, can I trust you? 
Can you be trusted? Oh, my game is glitching. Uh, I'm gonna stop this video here, considering it seems Raps is having a bit of a meltdown. Uh, I'll be back in a minute.